Emma, here we go. All right, so our first lengthening exercise is gonna be on our calves. So just as you see where Denise has the foam roller placed right above the heel here, and she's just gonna rotate side to side and then slowly work her way down the foam roller. If you scoot this way just a little bit for her. This way? Yep. Perfect. So all the way down until she gets to, all the way through her calf, I'm just going side to side. So you're not going back and forth the whole time. Side to side, scoot up, side to side. Okay, so now we've moved up the leg a little bit more and we're on our hamstrings. So that's gonna be the upper part of our leg here. And it's gonna be the same technique. We're just side to side motion and then slowly going down side to side. That's the technique that we're gonna use on our legs while we're foam rolling. And we're gonna do about a minute for each muscle group here. Uh, you're welcome to take some more time with it, but we're gonna do a minute here. So now we've moved to our adductors and you can see the position that Denise is in here. Uh, so this is gonna be the inside of our leg. Uh, we'll start right at the knee, right above the knee here. And then um, instead of rolling side to side, because that's a little bit hard with the, the range of mobility we have here, you can just sort of give input by extending your leg a little bit and rotating your ankle slightly here and there. And that'll give you the sensation you're looking for. Um, and then once again, you're just going to move all the way up um, just until you get to about your groin area. And then that'll be it. The last one that we're gonna do for this program is gonna be our quadriceps. So we've hit all around the other parts of our leg today. And now we're doing the quadriceps, which are right on top of our leg right here. And so we're gonna start right above the knee and then same thing, rotating side to side, working our way down, side to side, working our way down. And if you feel a strong sensation, then sit there for a second and breathe. Now starting with our lengthening phase, um, we are gonna be lengthening our calves here. So for this, for this calf stretch, we're going to uh, want to pull our toes back to our face if we can. And some people might need a strap to help them with this. Uh, as a progression, you can drop the strap and simply reach down and use your hands to pull. So if that's available to you, then that is um, a great option. The next stretch that we're gonna do is for our hamstrings. So you can see this lovely position that we have here. You're gonna have your leg straight in the air, as straight as you can. Uh, you want to grip it right below the knee. And um, if you're able to do that without using a strap, then you're welcome to do so. You're just gonna pull towards you and then to fill it even more, I want you to pull your toes towards your face there. You're gonna hold these stretches for 30 seconds each. We're going to do our quadriceps next and one uh, little technique that we've found for, this one is to use a band. You, If you have a band or a belt or something and you're able to get a loop around your toes there, then you can get a handle on it. And uh, a quadricep, once again, is this muscle right here in the front of our leg. So as we're pulling, that's okay. <laughs> you gotta find a, you gotta find something that you can have your balance on. So right now, Denise is using the chair. You can also use a wall or anything, but a good point of stability. And so you wanna pull your, your foot up as close as you can to your butt and that's going to stretch the quadricep there, the front of your leg. 30 seconds each side. So for this one, this is our adductor stretch. To get started, we're gonna take a staggered stance, a staggered wide stance. So uh, feet are wide, and then if you notice this foot right here is slightly in front of her back foot. She's gonna bend this knee, but the goal is to stretch right inside this leg right here. So that's our adductor. Um, so even though we're gonna bend on this knee, we're really trying to feel the sensation over here. So you might need to play around with it just a little bit 
until you find it. You can even lean forward or lean towards that leg a little bit to create more of a sensation, but that's what we're looking for, 30 seconds on each side. Our first activation strengthening uh, exercise today is gonna be box squats or sitting in a chair here and coming back up. So feet are just about shoulder width apart and you can have us, you can have them slightly turned out just like that and just like Denise says. And then we're gonna keep our chest up as much as we can as we're squatting down, oh. taking a seat and back up. <laughs> Denise <tea>. loves it. <laughs> Now for this one, this is banded monster walks. So you're gonna take that band, put it around your ankles or your toes, whatever is more comfortable for you or you feel like is a good challenge for you. You're gonna have a slight squat as you uh, go laterally through the room and then you'll go back the opposite direction. Try it on my toes. Denise is gonna try it on her toes here. I kinda take this bit. So going back, the opposite direction. Denise now has it around her toes, just as an example of what that could look like. We're gonna do 10 total. So that's 10, that's one, one way, and then two coming back the other way. All right, our next exercise is our deadlifts here. So we're gonna use the band today for our resistance. You're gonna start in this hinge position, knees are bent, and then you're gonna come up Perfect, extending your hips there, and then bending back over. You want your back to be about parallel with the ground as you're, as you're bending over. You can think of picking something off the ground here. Your knees bend and your butt goes back, and then you stand up. 10 repetitions here. All right, for this next one, we got hip thrusters. So you're gonna be in this position on your back here you're gonna bring your heels uh, as close as you can really to your butt. And then you're going to squeeze your glutes, press your hips to the sky. Um, and, and once you, yeah, just make sure you get that extra squeeze of your glutes at the top there. We're gonna go for 10 repetitions here. 